Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about some other reactions of carboxylic acids. In the last video, I talked about the redox reactions of carboxylic acids, and in this case, we're going to talk about to the conversion of carboxylic acid into their derivatives. And what what is a carboxylic acid derivative? Um, so, carboxylic acid derivative is some molecule where the OH on the carboxylic acid has been replaced by some other functional group, Z. Uh, no. Some other usually heteroatom group, uh, Z is usually nucleophilic. So the types of reactions that are used to convert carboxylic acids into these derivatives are often nucleophilic substitution reactions. And in this video, I'm just going to introduce you to those reactions without necessarily providing any great detail about uh, their, their mechanisms or anything, because that is a, that are subjects for, you're probably going to have a, a video dedicated to, you know, each video dedicated to one of these transformations. Uh, one type of uh, carboxylic acid derivative is the acid halide, uh, where acid chlorides are most common, but acid bromides and fluorides exist. Uh, and acid carboxylic acids are converted into acid halides by reacting uh, the carboxylic acid with thionyl chloride, SOCl2. If you watched my video series on the conversion of alcohols into alkyl halides, you'll find that SOCO2, S SOCl2 thionyl chloride is pretty, uh, this is what it does. It converts OH groups into chlorines and it does it on alcohols, it does it on phenols, and it does it here on carboxylic acids. Uh, the next type of uh, carboxylic acid uh, derivative is the anhydride. I'm actually going to do two anhydride examples. It's worth just talking about both of them. Um, simple carboxylic acids can be converted into their uh, respective anhydride by uh, reaction with sulfuric acid. Uh, sometimes in a way that removes water, so water is a byproduct of this reaction. You get these kinds of anhydrides. Uh, if you're interested in an anhydride, so anhydride is carbonyl, oxygen, carbonyl. If you're interested in some kind of anhydride that is less uh, symmetric, there is a way to do that. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of detail on the reaction, but if you deprotonate the... Uh, carboxylic acid, you make its, uh, make its carboxylate salt. Now, uh, you can react this uh, carboxylate salt with some, other, uh, with some other acid halide. Acid halides are good electrophiles. Um, and you can make a non-symmetric acid anhydride. Next down the list is ester. Uh, the ester is a functional group where uh, instead of having an OH, you have an OR. So you have some kind. You have an alkoxy group. Simple esters are generated by uh, reaction of the carboxylic acid with an appropriate alcohol in the presence of an acid and the removal of water. Uh, though there are there are other ways. Um, for example, carboxylate anions are nucleophiles, and so if you generate them, you can react them with some sort of appropriate alkyl halide in an S2 reaction. Uh, and you can also generate esters this way. This works very well when the, the group being added is a primary group. 
Uh, and then also there are some other kinds of coupling reactions that can be done to, to avoid the harsher conditions of these two reactions. Um, and, and I'm actually going to cover uh, that reaction on my amides list here. So amides are functional groups where we replace carboxylic acid with an amine uh, or with a nitrogen group. So these can come from primary amines. Um, and, and one way to, to do this is to just add the amine minus heat, plus heat minus heat. And, and an acid source and crank the heat up and distill off the water and you can get the uh, get the amide, uh, though on complicated molecules, you might not want to, to be as brutal to your, to your system. So there are ways using coupling reagents, and then I'm going to have a video on that. Uh, it's worth noting that this coupling reagent strategy, you can swap out amines for alcohols and make esters. Uh, uh, and there, there's a number of different types of coupling reagents, so I'm not going to be specific here. Uh, I'm just going to note that there are some other ways to do this. We can make different kinds of amides. The last carboxylic acid derivative uh, typically considered is the nitrile. The nitrile functional group is not capable of being synthesized directly from carboxylic acids. It has to be synthesized from an amine. Uh, though there are some other ways, um, as have been covered by earlier videos of mine. Uh, and so I'm not covering it in this particular video. These videos are, in most cases, are examples of nucleophilic acyl substitution. And the next video series is going to be about that reaction and its mechanism, and then the specific kinds of conversions of the different functional groups back and forth from the carboxylic acids to the derivatives. Thank you for watching.